Look, I know you guys are using your garbage disposal the wrong way. You're dumping all of your food scraps into the drain as if though it were a trash can. I'm going to explain to you how the garbage disposal is actually supposed to be used and what can go down there. I'm also going to tell you a few useful things about your garbage disposal that you can use today. So first, I'm going to go over what not to do with the garbage disposal. You're not supposed to use the garbage disposal like a trash can. You shouldn't be taking food scraps and just scraping them off into the drain and letting the garbage disposal do all the work. The garbage disposal is not meant to be a second trash can. It's just meant to take the leftover food scraps that fall into the sink, churn them up, and get them down the drain line. That's it. Let's talk about what can and cannot go down a garbage disposal. Now, I've mentioned before that really nothing should be going down a garbage disposal. The only thing that you want the disposal to be doing is churning up whatever falls in there accidentally. Orange peels, lemon peels, banana peels, eggshells is a really common one, beans, rice, coffee grounds, all the things that you think that would go down there that are pretty easy to churn up, they should not be going down the garbage disposal. Once you have a drain clog, once it's beyond the disposal, at that point you're having to actually snake the drain to relieve whatever is stopped up in the pipe. So you don't want to get to that point. Try to keep those type of things out of the sink. The disposal will always eat them up, but the drain won't take them. So let's talk about foods that are okay to go down the garbage disposal. You have things like greens, vegetables, vegetables like string beans, not carrot peels, stuff that is really soft that you know will make its way down the drain pipe and not obstruct anything. Those are the type of things that are okay to put in a garbage disposal and you shouldn't have to worry about a stoppage. Now, should you put those things down on purpose? No, you still shouldn't put them down on purpose, but they are okay to go down the drain. Everything should work fine. It shouldn't cause an issue. So some people wonder if you can put boiling water or things like ice cubes into the garbage disposal. Yes, you can. You can put ice cubes into the garbage disposal. The garbage disposal will eat them up in a heartbeat and it'll be gone. It's not going to be an issue. Boiling water also won't be an issue. It doesn't really matter the temperature of water that you put into the drain. It's not going to cause an issue to the garbage disposal. When you're using a garbage disposal, you absolutely want to make sure that you're using it while the water is running. You don't want to run the disposal dry. If you're running the disposal without water going into it, it can actually cause an issue with excessive heat and it can shorten the life of the disposal. The answer is yes, it is okay to run the disposal while the dishwasher is running. As it turns out, if the disposal has food in it and you haven't ran it and it's clogging the drain, the dishwasher will actually not be able to drain properly. Some applications, this all depends on the house, but some dishwashers actually drain into the garbage disposal. So if your dishwasher drains into the disposal, you want to make sure that the disposal is always clear of food scraps. So you want to make sure that you turn it on just to make sure. Otherwise, what will happen is when the dishwasher starts to drain the water, it can risk backing up into the dishwasher itself or just filling up the sink. So if the dishwasher is connected to the disposal, it's just something to keep in mind. But you can always run a disposal while the dishwasher is running. A good way to know if your dishwasher is connected to the disposal is if you look under the sink and you see a drain hose leading from one end of the cabinet. It could be the right, could be left, depends on the layout of your kitchen. But if you see a drain hose going from the dishwasher up and you track it and it goes all the way up and it connects into the disposal itself. Sometimes it doesn't look this way. Sometimes the hose actually connects into the drain which is gonna be the pipe underneath. But most cases, it goes right into the disposal. And you can actually track it with your fingers. So this will take you getting underneath the sink and actually looking for yourself. That's the only way to know for sure how it's connected. So some of you might find yourself in a predicament. Some of you might find that the disposal that you have is actually not working. And there's a couple of reasons why a disposal might not be working. It could be a power supply issue, or it could be that the disposal's jammed. I'll walk you through how to troubleshoot each of these symptoms to figure out how to fix the disposal or if it needs to be replaced. So let's talk about the type of power issues that you're gonna come across. So one of them being a simple issue with the reset switch, which is on the bottom here. Now the reset switch is actually designed as a, as a way to protect against a power overload. A power overload could be from 
a lot of things. It can be an issue with the motor. It can be an, an electrical issue. I'm not going to go into depth as to what could cause a power issue, but sometimes it can be fixed just by simply pressing that little red button on the bottom there. So as you can see, you, the button is a little springy. You just press that and that will actually sometimes reset the disposal and it'll work just fine. That would be the first thing to check if you're having an issue where the disposal is non-responsive to the flip of a switch. Now the next most common issue with the garbage disposal is going to be the disposal actually jamming. An easy way to know whether or not the disposal is jammed is if you turn the disposal on and you hear a humming noise, it's usually a deep humming noise, that usually indicates that the blades are stuck. If the blades are stuck, you'll actually take an Allen key, sometimes there's one stashed under the kitchen sink, and you'll actually insert it into the very bottom of the garbage disposal, and you're gonna use that to try to break the blades use. It's a way to manually move the blades without putting your hand into the disposer. The final way that the disposal usually fails is simply a power issue. Now, if there is a power-related issue, and by power, I mean something wrong with the switch. If there's an issue with the switch to the disposal, at that point, you if you're brave enough, you can fix it yourself or you call an electrician. Even I won't go and replace the switch to a garbage disposal because I am a plumber. The garbage disposal is for people like myself that are pretty negligent with what I throw down there. I don't wanna have to clean the strainer every time a little bit of food gets in there. I wanna just throw what I need to into the sink. If a little bit of food gets down there, I don't have to worry about it because I can just flip a switch and the garbage disposal does all of the work. But if you don't have one, the strainer will work just fine. You'll just need, it'll be more work to keep that drain clean. Let's talk about different types of garbage disposals. So there are bigger kinds and smaller kinds. And what this translates to is there are some kinds that have more power and some kinds that have less power. This all comes down to your application. If you feel like you wanna churn up or make sure that you're churning up things such as bones, which you shouldn't be throwing down there, but let's say for instance, you find yourself throwing bones into the sink, then you might wanna opt for a larger disposer. Now, if you don't think you'll be doing that and you think you're a little bit more diligent with keeping food out of the disposer, then you can op opt for something that's a little bit smaller and lower duty. Whether it's a small disposal or a large disposal, just know that there is a variety of them and any of them could work, depends on what you want. So let's talk about how long a typical garbage disposal lasts. Generally, a garbage disposal, if it's on a lower end, is gonna last between two to four years. A, any professional will recommend replacing it every three years if you wanna avoid the nuisance of waiting until it breaks before replacing it and having a leaking disposal. But generally, a lower end disposal will last two to four years. Once you start going up the spectrum to a higher quality disposal, what you'll find is most of these disposals will actually last a lot longer than the two to four year range. Most of them will last seven plus years. How do you know that disposal is starting to fail or it's starting to run down or it's maybe on the, its last leg? Well, there's a couple things. If your disposal is making humming noises or if it sounds really, really loud, which is the most common thing. Generally, if a disposal is very loud, it usually means that it's on its last leg. So that's a good audible way to know that the disposal is failing, but there's other ways. If you look under the sink and you see the disposal is actually has a bunch of rust on it, that's another sign. We don't want the rust to become a leak. And then of course, you'll know that the disposal stops work or that it's on its last leg if the disposal works sometimes and other times it doesn't. That usually means there's some sort of issue with the motor and it's causing it to operate inconsistently. Okay guys, so we've gone over some basic things to know for your garbage disposal. If you found this helpful, leave a comment. Thanks for watching.